RL Craft is known as one of the hardest and most exciting Minecraft mod packs ever created. It transforms Minecraft into a brutal survival experience with dragons, thirst, skills, and hundreds of new mechanics. But what if you want to play with your friends or run your own server? In this video, I'll show you step by step how to set up an RL Craft server that runs smoothly so you and your friends can take on the chaos together. Before we dive in, let's talk about what makes RL Craft special. Unlike vanilla Minecraft, RL Craft adds real survival mechanics like thirst, temperature, and injuries, hundreds of mobs from terrifying dragons to deadly sea creatures, a full skill and progression system for mining, combat, and crafting, completely rebalanced combat where even a zombie can end your run. Because of this, RL Craft is heavier than most mod packs, so setting up a server the right way is crucial. Step one is choosing a host. RL Craft is resource heavy, so you want a server with at least six to eight gigabytes of RAM for a small group of players. If you're planning for a bigger community, go higher. That's why I recommend using a host like Mint servers. They make it easy to run mod packs with one-click installs, strong performance, and 24-7 uptime. Running RL Craft locally often leads to lagging crashes, but a good host ensures everything runs smoothly. To install RL Craft, simply go to your service control panel, click on mod packs, and search for RL Craft. Then click install. Now just restart your server and everything should be ready to go. By default, Elocraft is perfect, but tweaking confidence can make your server more stable and fun. Here are a few settings to check. Server properties to adjust player slots and difficulty, spawn protection to lower it so players can build near spawn, and config folders. Many mobs allow you to change mob spawn rates or disable mechanics if needed. And backups. Always enable automatic backups because Elocraft worlds can break fast. Customizing configs give you control, especially if you want to make the game slightly easier or harder for your community. Running Elocraft smoothly also means using some essential server plugins and tools. Even on a modest server, you can still add things like luck points for permissions and ranks, die map for a live map of your server world, Discord integration so players can see chat in your Discord server, and backup plugins to protect against corrupted saves. These add polish and make your server feel professional. One of the best parts of Elcraft is playing together. The mod pack is brutal, but with friends, it's a lot more fun. Multiplayer benefits include teamwork against dangerous bosses like dragons or licensed mobs, trading rare items and resources between players, share progression and skills in dungeons, and events like dragon hunts or dungeon races. Elcraft can be frustrating solo, but on a server, it becomes an epic shared adventure. Because RL Craft is heavy, maintaining performance is key. Here are some tips. Restart your server regularly to clear memory, limit chunk loading with view distance and server properties, use optimization mods like phone fix or better FPS if supported, and keep your plugins and mods updated to the latest versions. These steps help reduce lag so players can focus on surviving, not waiting. And that's how you set up an RL Craft server. Pick a strong host like mid servers, install RL Craft via the mod pack section in your panel, configure your settings and add essential tools, and build a community and run epic events. Do that and you have one of the most exciting and most challenging Minecraft servers out there. If you're ready to host your own, check out mint servers, they got easy mod pack installs, high performance, and support that makes running Elcraft a breeze. Thanks for watching, drop a like, subscribe for more server guides, and tell me in the comments, what's the most terrifying mob you faced in Elcraft?